what's up world this is boy Albert Switch Down from Albert Switch Down Gaming uh, today I'm going to teach you how to import just about anything just follow these um, couple of easy steps to do what you need to do to import it into Unreal Ed, all right? or UDK um, from Autodesk 3D Max 2010 you can probably do it with like um, 3D Max 9 also but I'm using 2010 so yeah alright first of all um, I'm gonna start off by having a new project alright I'm gonna have I'm gonna use a sphere alright so we're just gonna make this easy sphere right here bring it up a little bit alright <clears throat> we're gonna open our materials editor with M I'm gonna click on the first one it should already be selected, but if it's not, um, it's selected now. <laughs> um, go to checker. I use checker because um, it's. Never mind. I'm gonna use uh, bitmap. All right. No, I'm gonna use checker. Sorry about that. I'm using. I use checker. Okay. Click OK. All right. Now you have the material on this ball, so you drag it to that. All right. That's just about it, but um, now you want to export it. All right, so we go down here to a whatever dot ase. You can just type that in on the um in. We can say test sphere. All right, so we're gonna save it. Geomet uh, ge geometric. I don't know if you can use any of these other ones. Um, I advise you not to because you're not importing shapes, cameras, lights, and ha helpers, material, um, def uh, mesh definition. Use that, and it should be the default. So just press OK, and it should be done. Close. All right, Unreal Development Kit. Open that up. You have your new new project now you don't have to but I would like to uh, open up a and make a plank I'm mean, gonna like map I guess so we're gonna all right we're gonna go to build no we're not going to go build we're gonna open up our uh, content browser say import All right, then find your mesh. Mine is in export, so test sphere import. It says importing. That's the name. Go to package and type in whatever you would like. I'd say test import. Okay. It'll automatically go to it. Now you see the sphere inside of the test import. Click on it. Right click. It depends on how you how you want it to work. I want it just to be in there as a static mesh. <clears throat> you click on it. Add actor. Add static mesh. And there's your ball. I'm gonna close the content browser size up the ball you can add materials to the ball you can add materials by going to the content browser going to cool materials or wherever you have a material already created and drag it to the ball and there you go click on real time and you'll see it at real time moving There you go. Just where I will shut you down from shut you down gaming. Peace.